All right, a major downturn is expected in commercial real estate in the next few years. Harrison LaFrac is managing director of the LaFrac organization. He says this is the time to get ahead of the impending crisis. Uh, the LaFrac organization owns an extensive portfolio of real estate property concentrated here in New York and also in Los Angeles and in London. He joins us now with his perspective. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us, Harrison. Uh, let me start by asking you, you know, Carol and I are talking about this commercial real estate sure. impending crisis all the time. How big is it? Is there any way for you to get a sense of what you need to get your arms around here? Sure. Well, let's it's, let's start with the fact that there are there is three point five trillion dollars worth of commercial real estate debt in the United States, of which one point seven trillion is on the books of community, regional, and sub-regional banks, and eight hundred and fifty billion was in the CMBS market which has basically gone from hero to zero. It's gone from having $250 billion a year of new issuance uh, to this year when there has been, uh, 2009, fewer than $9 billion of new issuance. So the debt market has completely collapsed, heavily troubled, uh, both the holders of the debt and the quality of the debt itself uh, are distressed. And uh, that is really the, the, the crux of the problem. And the problem is going to get really bad in 2010. And the reason it's going to get really bad in 2010 is that underwriting standards departed from reality beginning in 2005. So and, and that continued 2006 and 2007. Mm -hmm. And there were five and ten year loans made. And so the five year loans come home to roost in 2010, 2011, and 2012. And the ten year loans come home to roost in 2015, 2016, 2017. Let's talk about, you know, the problem obviously then is trying to roll these over. A lot of, uh, most mm -hmm. of them probably have to be refinanced, right? And you want to uh, try and do that as quickly as possible. But obviously that's an issue when we have the credit freeze, which supposedly is thawing somewhere out there, but probably not for commercial real estate uh, mortgage holders. Well, Deutsche Bank estimates that just the regional, sub-regional banks have $250 billion dollars of unrecognized losses based on the commercial real estate loans that have to be rolled over over the next three to five years. So there's a, there's a tremendous problem for both lenders and borrowers in terms of uh, these debts that will be maturing in the next three years. Harrison, we've just lived through a crisis that everybody thought was going to bring down the financial system. So in terms of commercial real estate, I mean, how, how many defaults are you anticipating? How big of a crisis could it potentially be? Well, I, I think that it could bring down more than 500 regional, sub-regional, and community banks in the next 12 months alone. And it is only the fact that their mortgages, their commercial mortgages, are not marked to market, but we're waiting for the maturity defaults to occur, mm -hmm. that things haven't happened sooner. In addition, uh, the government does not want to meet a problem halfway. If you saw the FDIC, uh, they talked about this week how their, their funds are now getting, getting low, their insurance funds are getting low. Right. So they don't want the problem to happen before they have time to rebuild some of the, f the funds in their in their deposit insurance accounts. Do you have to wait that long, though? I mean, is there any way uh, for us to get ahead of this problem and try and re rework these loans and hopefully in a better way than we're doing with residential? Well, it's such a massive problem because in addition to dealing with recapitalizing the real estate and recapitalizing many of the community, regional, and sub-regional banks that lent to the real estate, there's an $850 billion problem in the CMBS market where the extension issue is is going to be looming in these three these two successive three year periods and the problem is is because you're dealing with bond indentures and bondholder democracy everybody's hands are tied and no type of negotiation can occur so in a more than twenty percent of the market which is eight hundred and fifty billion of the commercial real estate debt market there's nobody to negotiate with nobody to call nobody to talk to so hands are tied in a significant portion of the market that was the shadow banking system. And the problem is, and as we saw in the residential mortgage space, problems of the shadow banking system become problems of the real banking system. Problems of, of, of RMBS, mm -hmm. residential mortgage-backed securities, became problems of actual uh, residential mortgages that were not securitized. And so the shadow banking asset problem migrates onto the banking balance sheets it's analogous asset, and that's what creates the problems in the financial system going forward. So as you have said, truly a slow-motion car crash here. Harrison, thank you so much for joining us. Harrison LaFrac there from the LaFrac organization.